five things that I'm working on for next year. Hey man, it's a midweek reset. And this week, we're gonna talk about five things that I'm working on for next year that you possibly could take away and use too. How y'all doing the first off, man? It's been a long week. This one just passed. I'm at Coffee's Wild. I'm at Wild's Coffee Shop. It's a great place. Great vibes. Y'all even this fit. Let's get right into it, man. Let's talk about 2024. Stop waiting to the first to achieve your goals. If you really see about your goals, attack them now. Do not wait until 2024 to attack your goals. Like, next year, I'm trying to do a lot. I'm not, it's gonna be very challenging. I, ain't gonna, I don't know how I'm gonna do some of these goals. I really, I, I really don't. Like, I have no idea, like, how I'm gonna do some of these goals. But I understand that for me to be successful, I need to really push myself farther than I ever have. One second. So, like, that's very important. Oh, that was good. Thank y'all, there y'all. I'm, I'm doing jumping into yoga, um, journaling more. You guys, journaling is super important. This, this is here, bro. It will, it will break you, it will, but it'll make you so much better, bro. You write down your thoughts, how you really feel. You will look back and like, look at the growth that I've, I, 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 I've done over a short period of time. This is one month. I'm going to thrifting. I've been thrifting a lot and uh, just making more content. You know what I mean? Consistently. That's something big for me. Excuse me. So yeah, uh, that's something I'm very, you know, definitely trying to get into. Um, but I thought you guys should definitely like, really, 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 don't wait, bro. We got four days. Start now. All the way to the weekend. You ain't serious about your goal. Start today. If you really, if you really serious, start today. That's how I feel. But um, yeah, that's definitely something I'm trying to do. Uh, I just started a new job in marketing and sales. Um, next year, man, I'm definitely trying to. I'm trying to make a lot of money. I mean, I ran mine, but I'm definitely trying to like make that amount. I've never made that amount. I think it's kind of crazy. I make that amount. I'm balling. This job is definitely different because like most people in my family, they do traditional job, which that nothing's wrong. Nothing's wrong with that by no means at all. Um, but sometimes I feel kind of stressed and like lost. You know what I mean? I don't have a mentor, so it's like I be going off my own intuition, my own mindset, my own goals, and I have succeeded a lot because of it. But I also had uh, you know, hiccups and failures because I didn't have the right guidance. So that's something I always battle with, but I feel like I feel like I'll be fine. I feel like I'll be fine. I just started two days ago, and we'll see where it goes. So my mental health is very important this year. Uh, this week, I would say I'm probably like a six and a half out of ten. I would say a seven, but um, it's like I'm, I'm, not, I'm not trying to get too high or too low. I feel like it's very important for me to stay in the medium level so I can be successful as possible. Those highs are amazing, but then when the lows happen, you feel like crushed. So I want to just be very present in the moment. Understanding each achievement is great, but also always ready for the next goal and like not getting too caught up in the negative things that could happen. So, um, yeah, like, you know what I mean? Fourth is um, trying to work on not feeling like I'm supposed to be someone, like trusting God and, you know, that I'm right where I'm supposed to be. I feel like often, you know, we young, I'm 25. You kind of like, 25, you thought she was going to be married with your kids. Some of y'all are single with four kids. Like, you know what I mean? Like, it's like, I'm 25. I'm, I'm not married. I don't got no kids. Like, it's sometimes it's like, damn. But then I'll be like, I was in Europe, London, Paris. Like, life was great. Like, I'm, I'm still living. Like, the kid version of me would think I'm amazing. So, I try to, like, find peace with that and continue to just chase my dream and not worry about this vision that I have of who I want to be. I want to be this 21-year-old millionaire, like, I'm 21, 25, you know what I mean? So, that's, that's the mindset I, I try to have when I'm doing what I'm doing, is uh, going to church. Uh, I'm trying to rebrand myself, making a decision to, you know, get closer to God again. I've never been, like, far from him, but I always, like, when stuff's going bad, I'll be right into him. I'll be, oh, God. But then soon stuff go kind of, like, good again. Not on purpose, but... You know what I'm saying? I'd be like, I'm, I'm, I'm praying, but I ain't like really like living, talking to him, building a relationship. So that's something I'm really working on. Definitely challenging, but I'm interested to see how it goes. And I'm rebranding myself, you know? I'm going to make it to fashion. Uh, there's going to be someone in this outfit. This is something I normally won't wear, but I'm really trying to rebrand myself and like get comfortable doing what I want to do and being myself. I'm recording right now from a lot of people. Like, it's, it's out, as great as I am as far as like mean people, I still get nervous. So it's like, I'm just kind of like, nah, fuck it. 
I know the goals that I have and I gotta achieve them. So that's like that's what I'm trying to do. And uh I look forward to next year. So I thank you guys for watching this video. If you guys got any tips and advice from me, any stories that motivate me or your own success stories and your own goals for next year, I'm definitely interested to hear them and I hope you guys have a great day. And um don't forget. I ain't got nothing to say.